Now, loved ones, you are the same and I am the same. We have bits of fluff that we keep trying to get off our hands. We have the sins inside us that we keep, we brush it off that hand and it catches on that hand. We try to brush it off that hand and it catches on that hand. We have sins that are so much part of us that we cannot get rid of them. And you know that. You know that's why Isaiah cried out, not I speak unclean things, but I am a man of unclean lips. And that's putting the blame where it ought to rest squarely. Not on the unclean words, but on the lips and on the man behind the lips. It's the same with you and me. We're nowhere near solving the problems in our lives until we admit Lord, I am a man of unclean lips. I do not just feel a little criticism and resentment towards my friends. I am full of it, full of it. I am criticism myself. My heart is criticism. And I need to be separated from the sin that has become part of me. Loved ones, that's why Jesus died. That's why the Bible says he made him to be sin who knew no sin. He took your sin that is part of you and he put it into his son. And he couldn't do that without taking you with it because you stick to it. You're part of it. And he put both you and the sin into his son and he destroyed it there and raised you up new.